guys welcome back to my channel my name is Marcelia and I want to thank you so much for checking out my video I hope you guys like it I'm trying out new things like doing more eyeshadow looks and like you know more bold lip so this is the look that I kind of came up with I knew that I wanted like red and gold so that's where it went so yeah I hope you guys like this video and stay tuned if you want to see how I achieve this look all right, so I'm starting with my brows already done. And then with this NYX shine, um, it's all over my face. And then I'm going to just smooth it out all over my skin with my hands. So I'm first starting with my eye with my eyeshadow and as the base I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 430 and I'm just going to first apply with the applicator and then I'm just going to blend it out just using my fingers. And then from my Milani Bold Obsessions number no. 2 palette, I'm taking that dark brown shade and I'm just using this to blend out my crease. And then from the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette, the Phoenix Palette, I'm taking like the more darker red shade there and I'm also blending that into my crease as well. Right, and to make the red color that I was going for stand out even more, I went with the red that's beside that shade. And this brightens up the red, makes it more bold, and uh, this is more the look that I was going for, but I didn't know how that was going to look. And so I went back to that dark brown shade, and then I darkened up the crease, like defined the crease even more using like a more smaller tapered brush. And then blending out the edges to make sure that everything is all blended nicely together. I didn't add more product but went with the with my brush to blend it out. And so from the Bold Exceptions palette, I went with like that beige color on top there. It's just to give a base for for the gold eyeshadow that I want to stand out even more and to create like a contrast between the dark crease color and my eyelid. And from the Milani palette, I went in with a dark, with sorry, not with a dark color, with the black to define the crease even more. And I kept this kind of tight. I didn't blend it out too much. It's just I wanted it in that specific area around the beige color to stand out. And then I went with the gold color. And I put that like on top of where I put the beige. And I kept it like in the center of my eyelid. Like I wanted it to be um, in, in the center there so that like when I blink you can see the, the gold kind of sparkle through my eyeshadow. Not through, sorry, not through my eyeshadow, through like my, my eyelashes that I'm going to put on. But I 
liked. I didn't think that the gold eyeshadow from the Milani palette was like bold enough for me and like was bright enough. So I went in with the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek I like the highlighter in the shade Glow Up. And this was more like what I was going for. It made it just stand out even more. And then so off camera I applied some eyeliner and my eyelashes. And so next I'm going to start with my face and with this Josie, Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. I put this basically anywhere that you would normally put your highlighter. So like the top of my cheek, uh, my, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Because I wanted my like the highlight to kind of come from within, I didn't want like the highlight look to be on top. And next I went with my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 470 and I first pumped out, I first put like two pumps on the back of my hand and then using my finger I applied it like in dots all over my face and then with my foundation brush I went and blend that out as quickly as I can. First starting off with the bottom of my face. And then I did it to my forehead. And I went with the same concealer that I used on my eyelids, on my face, uh, like on my under eye highlight. And I use like a different technique that I've seen a few makeup artists online use and they kind of did it in like this kind of shape like they didn't do like in a B shape they kind of did it like the beginning of the eyelid like beside the nose and like the, the ends of your eyes. And so to not mess up my eyeshadow I first went in with like this smaller concealer brush to first blend this out as much as I can. And then afterwards I went in with my foundation brush to blend it, like the edges out. And then I applied it to the rest of my face, like the, my bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And before I set my foundation with powder, I went with this cream blush, the Cheeks Out uh, Freestyle Cream Blush by Fenty Beauty in the shade Summertime Wine. And I went and put this on my cheeks and like a little bit on my nose just to bring some color back. I fixed my uh, highlight just because I thought I went a little too overboard with my, with my blush. And so before I set my foundation, I went and made sure that everything was blotted out and there's no creases.
And with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, like the translucent powder uh, in the shade Nutmeg, I went and set basically like all over my face with this, very lightly. And so for my blush, um, for the blush powder, I use this NARS blush in the shade Exhibit A. And this is just to, in a way, set the powder, like the cream blush, but to make that, I thought like those two colors would go well together and that this color would brighten up the blush a little bit more. And for highlight, I use my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil highlight, and I just lightly put this where you usually put your highlight because I already have the the illuminizer underneath my foundation, and the blush itself also has a little bit of like highlight, so I didn't want to go too overboard with this. And so I finished the rest of my eyeshadow look. I used the red that I put in the crease underneath. And then I tight lined using the black eyeshadow. I didn't have any black like um, like eyeliner crayon, so I had to use the powder. I think this would have looked better if I had eyeliner. So maybe next time I do a look like this, I will go purchase a black eyeliner. And so I blend it out, just make sure everything kind of like smoked out, looking good. And so I went back to my face and wanted to bronze up a little bit with the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant, Instant Warmth Bronzer in the shade Mocha Mami. And this is just to add a little bit of depth. And I also put some highlight. I used the same gold eyeshadow that I put on my eyelid from before in my tear ducts just to make things pop. And the same for my for my brow bone as well. So next for my lips, I use the Alari lip liner by ColourPop to line my lips. I kind of filled it filled in my lips just like halfway, just a little bit. And then for the lip shade that I chose today is by NYX, uh, their Swain Matte Lipstick in the shade Vintage. And so I thought this, the my eyeshadow kind of matched my lipstick, so I guess that was, that's kind of how like the look turned out. So this is the finished look everybody i want to thank you so much for staying tuned to the end and if you liked it please give the video a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video